Sorry about the wind folks, there's not a lot I can do about it. So it's 21st of June, July, June. We started digging up the Charlottes. That's some three plants. All the tops are starting to die back now on these. Obviously it's too early for my main crop. My Wilger and Picasso. I actually remembered what I planted. So yeah, they're not bad. That'll do me. I'm not after prize winning records, I say I don't weigh them. Got to chop some green off that, I found it poking out the soil, but we'll get half a spud out of that. A little bit of scab on them, but hey ho, we all good in the mouth. So yeah, looking like this year is going to be a good year for spuds. So I've already dug my two rows of rocket up. Got quite a few carry bag pulls out of them, so yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> we'll grow again, we'll definitely grow a rocket again next year. And we're looking like it. Charlotte's look like they'll be on my shopping list for next year as well. So, on to the next clip. Bye! It's 25th of July. Brilliant day today, but tomorrow it talks of torrential rain again. Whew. Today's harvest. A load more Charlottes out of the ground. That's another row up. Just got the one row left. Lots of spuds. Not too much scab either. And I haven't been watering them all that much, I will be honest. But look, yay. We're on with the blackberries. Have it. Still loads on the brambles to pick but there's only so many you can eat let the birdies have some so yes let's get try and get these home now <laughs> okay folks catch up the next clip bye well that's two rows of onions out of the ground red onions these are red cross man what is going on with these this year <laughs> look at that absolutely delighted with these yeah, we get the odd tiddlers, but I don't think I've ever had red onions grow this big before. Superb. A load more hanging up here. It needs to be ready for to be string soon. I think I can safely say I'm well pleased with my red onions this year. Eat your heart out. There's quite a few tiddlers there, but I'm just worried about the large size, whether it's going to affect the taste. I do prefer to eat them small, but I'm not going to complain. I'll catch us in a second, folks. Hi, folks. 31st of July. I was going to do a full allotment update, but there's that many people on site today, it's unbelievable. So I, I thought I'd show you. The last excerpt of the Onion Hotel. Started pulling the whites up now that's flopped. I've got all shapes and sizes here. Well, is that impressive or what? <laughs> Most are a pretty decent size. But I shan't grow these again, these radar. I've got about 12 near the shed that went to seed that I've lifted. Basically, they're going to have to be. Uh, Sliced and thrown in the freezer. Look at this boy. Hey, look at this boy. Proud of this one. That's the biggest onion I've ever grown. <laughs> so it's a bit of a mixture of everything for the whites. In fact, I've done better than I thought I would. At one stage, I didn't think I was going to get anything. So I should be grateful for what I have. So we've got a rack of whites now. Racking half at reds. The red's hanging. These can be strung up soon. They've dried out nicely now. So I'm trying to watch the next plot. There's kids running around all over the place. So that is it for today, folks. I'll put all the clips together and I'll try and get you a full tour before the week's out. So, yeah, not a bad harvest, but I will not grow radar again. I will be growing the heat treated sets this winter so it's goodbye from the whites
Goodbye from the Reds. And it's goodbye from Mick. Catch you later. Bye. Just thought I'd show you this, folks. <clears throat> Onions that go to seed. Can't get back on there. Basically, you get the outer layers. And you get this inner core. Just take the inner core out. Discard it. And you can just slice these up like an ordinary onion. Voila. And then they can go in the freezer. Don't waste them. Catch us later.